Hey, Mr. Clash here with another three-star attack replay. Actually, two three-star attack replays on the same base. They're both HB, HG, HB attacks, giants, healers, hogs, and bowlers in the clan castle. Now, this is a bit of a base that you do find often in war. The standard configuration of this base is double giant bomb where the queen is, and where the two air sweepers are, you have two Teslas. Where the other two Teslas are and the other giant bombs are, usually get swapped around. Sometimes there's a giant bomb in each of the outer, outer compartments, sometimes there's a Tesla, sometimes the giant bombs are next to the other expo, sometimes not. They're all usually in a different location. So you see here he's coming in from the bottom, obviously to bring in, uh, come in and take out the expo and the double bomb threat straight off the bat. Now this one has a Tesla next to the expo. So that's a usual, a little bit of a different ploy. He's got the um, poison for the clan troops, rage for the bowlers, two rage, two heal, Bit of a standard configuration for the uh, HG HB uh, troop combo, and now he's coming in with the hog portion of the raid as the back end, as the giants and the hogs, as the giants and the uh, bowlers try to take out the rest of the base. The hogs coming in from the flanking side. Now the sweeper is of course pushing the healers away, so the bowlers will go down shortly. And now we just wait. Nearly all the spells are used. There's one more heal spell to go, and that's going to take place you're going to need to heal the hogs where that double bomb is next double bomb yeah there was a double bomb there okay so he's put both double bombs near the expos in the core of this base and that's it no more heals heal is about to go down to the tesla on the right hand side his king has gone down and his max level queen is the only thing left shortly after the hogs and the giants will be taken out by the wizards teslas cannon and archer because there's no heal for them so they're not going to last uh, the way through. So the only thing left for him to succeed in this raid is the queen and he has not used the ability. He has one wizard and one minion left. There's a storage on the left. Okay, he's just put the minion on that storage. Good thing there was no bomb there, no air bomb to take out the minion. Now he's just got the queen's ability left and one wizard to possibly put on that archer tower once it focuses on the queen. So there we go. Queen's ability used. Wizard goes down and take out the army camp and that's it. Now Obviously, with a level 30 queen almost dead, you'd have to say pretty well that without a level 30 queen, this attack would not have gone, would not have been a three star because his king's already down and the queen was almost down. So, without a level 30 queen, the attack probably would not have been a three star, even with this uh, troop combination. That's a little bit devastating. Now, we're going to have a look at the second attack, is also HGHB, but it's a little bit different and it's from lesser heroes. So you'll see that the queen is 20 and the king is only 15 in this one. Same standard, kind of standard troop combination, but going to come at this base a little bit differently. And that's partly to do with the pathing. If you watch the video again on the first one, or as he's coming in here, you'll see that you've got the cannon and the archer. Now, this is the second attack on this base. So he already knew where the bombs and everything were based on the first attack that you just saw. So the giants will go from the archer cannon combo to the Tesla. Now, because there's bowlers there, the bowlers will take out the cannon uh, as they take out the storage and the Tesla. So then the giants will only have left to go to that wizard. Once the wizard's gone, the giants have to come back into the core where the air defenses are. So they'll do that. Now, the queen is not able to be gotten to because of the wall. However, the bowlers will start throwing their balls at her in a second. And she'll go down pretty quickly. She's already gone down a little bit from splash damage. So the queen's down. That threat of the double giant bomb on that side where the queen was has been nullified. And now the hogs can come in from the bottom. Now if you watch the first attack again, you'll notice that when the giants came in from the bottom on that cannon, if they'd gone from the cannon to the archer tower, then they would have passed directly to the expo in the middle. But because the archer tower went down, well, I'm talking about the first attack, they then moved over to the right side for the wizard. So the pathing, the timing of the, which weapons went down was important to which way the giants wanted to path. And it nearly made his troops all path around the outside. But in this case, by coming in from that side, the way the bowlers were there, it was a much easier funnel. You only had to take out a couple of army camps. The funnel was pretty easy. And the way the bowlers do double damage to the thing behind meant that the giants were going to path into the core much faster together with the bowlers as well. And that enabled them to get into the core better. So you can see a much more devastating attack with lesser heroes just by coming in at the base from a slightly different angle and with a slightly modified deployment. 
So watch the two attacks again so you can see the difference in how the deployment and the pathing changed the outcome of the attack. Anyway, that's it for today. I do thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.